And just like that, we're back with Sound Shopping. Sound Shopping. I'm, I'm tickled to death to be here, too. I am, too, Gray. You know, this is my favorite part of our one-hour show. I love music, and I love instruments. I love every aspect of music there is, so I really get involved in this when I'm doing the research on every item, and I really love it. That's really the fun part. It. That's yep. a lot of fun. Now, you're, you're more of a musical person. I listen a lot of times, but guys, we need to have some of those shots where we're playing the instruments and all that. Pretty good, a little demo. Yeah. yeah, I picked up a piccolo for the first time this morning, never tried it, and of course I was over there trying to play it, and you know Kenny was <laughs> hiding around the corner with the camera filming oh, me. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we probably have some pretty good interesting shots of uh, me I trying the different you. instruments as we get them in. I really do enjoy that. So, All right, well let's get started with our first Pond item Shopping. today here on Sound Shopping on the Pawn Shopping Network. Got Thanks for joining talk. us. If you're watching us, Give us a thumbs up, say hey, let us know where you're watching from. I'm watching you on my phone. I got my iPad here. I'm trying to keep up with everybody. So give us a shout out, just a thumbs up, tell us where you're at. Yes, sir. we you... want that. We want that. We want people to say hello and you know, talk to us. Click on yeah. that thing. Let us know what you're doing. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I saw somebody say they were watching from the recliner. I said, tell us where you're at. Nothing they wrong said the recliner. That. I won't point you out and tell everybody who you are, but no names. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is our first item. This is a Fender Stratocaster Elite. This is an awesome guitar, Gray. Very pretty. This is one of your upper end guitars. You see that price on there is a pretty hefty price, but I'm going to tell y'all, this is a 2016 model guitar. This guitar new is going to cost over two grand. Yeah, two grand or yeah. more. Better. It's an awesome guitar. A lot of features about that. Walk up to that front Give camera there, Greg. Give him a little. You have to hold it up. You have to watch what you're there doing we there. Go. We didn't practice this much. We're used to using all a different camera. All the strings camera. are on there. All the buttons. <laughs> all the whistles. But guys, a beautiful guitar, Mr. Fender. We were looking up earlier. That's Alm and myself, Mr. Leo Fender, who come up with this stuff, and actually was a radio station guy. Worked on amps, but that's a little brief history on so that. This, this guitar has an ash body, y'all, with Pretty. a maple fret board. This is called the Tobacco Burst, Tobacco Sunburst Finish. It has three noiseless pickups that you see right here. You know, this gives it that great sound without any hum and buzz. So it's a really cool feature of this guitar. And this little switch that you see right here is a S1 switch, and it provides you like 10 different combinations of tones and different variations of sound for this guitar. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome feature to have there. Um, this does come with a hard case. I saw that. And um, you know, there's just a lot of really good features of this guitar. It um, this tune, the, the tuning mechanisms are yeah, high, high end up here. You'll see that. Turn that over and see the back end there. So yeah. Good shot. And then the quality of this guitar, y'all, we know it's great because it yep. is Fender, but the condition of this guitar, there's nair scratch on there. That's right. great. Nair scratch on this guitar. If That's we ain't right. country, we don't we know use, what we are. We but not abused, I like to say. Got a little weight to it. David beat me that early, but guys, it has a little weight to it, so it means there's something to it. And like Alma said, good shape, but we are, it is used, but it is not abused. And you know, as um, Justin said earlier, Justin and Freddie, they play all these guitars and they really know our guitars mm -hmm. like, you know, they know them like better than anybody. And as far as, you know, strats go, it doesn't get any better than this right here, right. folks. This is a very, very good guitar. Well, like Alma said, a little bit high end, 1495, but item 4058, nice item with that, with a bag too, or a case. There you go. Now we're going to go to our next item, and I should challenge Gray to pronounce it, but I won't embarrass him. So this is Piccolo. a gamine heart. Yeah. I'm glad you said it. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Bless this you. is a gamine heart piccolo. Um, so the name gamine heart, you know, that's a, a hard name to say. Mean is, heart. That is something else. <laughs> not mean heart. There we go. Don't get mean. Y'all see the spelling there on the screen. We're going to scrunch over. We're getting All signals right. from everybody. This is what we love about Got a live good case TV. For this too. That's right. So this is a Gamine Heart Piccolo. This is an that. older model one. You know, we've looked at the serial number and we do research things when we get them in. And from what we can tell by the serial number, it dates it to be about late 70s. That's me um, too. Y'all, this too. is silver plated. This is a upper end piccolo for that very experienced piccolo player. I didn't realize there's so many different variations of piccolo mm -hmm. still till we got this one and I started doing a little research and there's so much different quality in them and how they're made and this being the silver plated model, just a, you can tell by that price right there, six twenty nine ninety five. dollars yeah, this this one there. new Not is in the fourteen hundred. Right. So if you were to buy this new, you're gonna be spending fourteen hundred to sixteen hundred dollars. I priced them this morning. So you know if you are a piccolo player and you are looking to upgrade but don't quite have the money for this Piccolo new, this will be a good deal for you well, right here. Six twenty nine ninety five out. That's not too much, for, especially for something like that with the case. Item forty sixty six. Are you going to play it? 
I knew. I don't. I'm not gonna put my mouth on it right now. David may have been on it. He likes to chew a little back or two on sometimes. Uh. So I can't do that. But nice item for that with the case. Can we get a good shot of that. I'll get a little bit closer. Gray's gonna walk show up to that. the camera yeah. there. Beautiful. Make sure he don't. I'll try not to trip him. So if I, if I don't come back, I'll see you the next show. So. <laughs> All nice right. item. So y'all, you know, as we've stated before in the other segments of the show, we are live. So everything that we're doing here is live. Give us a shout out. Give us a call. If you have a question about any of the items that we're showing, give us a call. And we've got somebody standing by on the phone right now. If you're at work and you're watching from the break room and you don't want to get on that phone, you can hop onto our website, pondsouth.com. You'll see a little red chat box in the corner Click of every page. That. Click on that. We're instantly going to chat with you right there. So go ahead and do that. Or you can ask us right now on Facebook. We'll try to um, try to catch those questions as they're scrolling by. It's a little hard sometimes when we're up here talking, but we'll do our best. We have a few people off camera here and there that can write those questions down and show us if y'all have a question. Well, so. if you call today, one eight four four six four one pond you actually talk to the boss man. Mr. Kenny is on the phone. He so is on the phone If you'd like to today. talk to the owner himself, you have the opportunity to call that, and you'll actually talk to him. So I know he can make the deal. That's right. He's a pawn shopper. Okay, now this is the next item. This is a Vox base, or we're assuming it's Vox. It doesn't have Vox stamped on all it right. anywhere. The, all the indications of it is that it is a Vox base. The, the knobs here have V on them for Vox. This is an old base, man. I just it love is. it. It's, it's got a lot of character. It's very vintage. Four string base. There we go. It's um, made Pretty. after, you know, to look like the... I think they're called the violin bases is what they're called. I was going to put it on my yeah. shoulder, but it's not a violin, <laughs> it's guys. It's very this small. Is, and that, that's big. what I like about it. You know, it's not a really big, bulky guitar, but it, it's also more of a collector's item, something right. to hang on the wall. It is just an awesome guitar. If you were to go online and price them, you would see how expensive they are. Vox started, I think, in... Um, in 1957, I think it was. I got it on here somewhere. Time. Yeah, <laughs> 1957 is when it got started. And they were actually known, the company was known for its amps. Their amps were just really mm -hmm. super high-end amps. Um, the Beatles used their amps, Queen, um, Tom Petty. And so, so they became famous for that Vox name because of their amps. But then, they, you know, they made these fine guitars, too. A little bit closer. And then later, the, the company was sold to a Japanese company. Everybody's pretty familiar with this name. The Japanese company Korg now owns that production of the Vox guitars. Yeah. So this 4081's is 4081 is our item number. Six ninety nine. Somebody priced that ready to sell. Yeah, really good price. You know, I looked at them online. I'm telling you, the prices were a lot higher than that online. Just a really cool. And guys, just these a cool are not, to have. Like, me and David and Alma have mentioned these prices are not in stone. Give that's what we like. And Kenny will deal with you if you call in. Make us an offer. Yeah, give us. Tell a call, him make I'll us give you offer. this, and I guarantee the man will entertain it. I guarantee you. You know, that's the beauty of pawn shopping. That's, that's what right. it's all about. Make us an offer. Let's make a deal, and let's let's make each other happy. Well, Alma, we're kind of different. We're going buy and sell. That's if right. you had something at your house, if you had something like this, give us a call. Tell Kenny that what you've got, and I guarantee you can reach a deal because the man's ready to deal, he told me. Yep. So, you know, a lot of you might have these guitars laying around and just don't really know that much about them, but you want to find out about them and you want to get rid of them, give us a call. You can also upgrade. Now, I mean, this is right neat here, the nine inch nails, and we were doing some of the history on it, and it's actually nine inches, I see. It is a nine inch yes. album. It's a, it's a single album. That's right. So um, this um, song was actually released, I think, on, a, on another album, and then they made this as a limited edition. Mm -hmm. It said that there was only 5,000 copies of this album wow. in production. This one does not have a number on the corner. Um, I don't know what that means, but anyway, there was only 5,000 of them made. So the March of the Pigs was a song that was released, and this is the single for March I'll of the Pigs. Going. There are four songs on this one. It is a nine-inch vinyl record. We'll pull that out and let y'all see it. There it is. Like I said, right after the group, so we can remember that. Nine-inch nails, nine-inch out the little record. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Twenty-nine ninety-five out of forty-nine. I want to say, did you say eighties on that? Does it have a date on it? I believe it probably was on the eighties. It's like the eighties. It's kind of neat. That was way there. before my time. I'm assuming that might be the number right there. I'm not right. sure. It has a stamp number on the card on the inside. It's really neat to have the little card in there. They don't do stuff like that anymore because everything what, is all done by email. What's this other one? Anthrax. That is Anthrax. I remember them. So, the Anthrax 90s. is, um, okay, so that Nine Inch Nails was the 90s, they're telling me, so I got that wrong. But this, I think, was the 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 87 is when this one was released. So this is another one of those... I don't know what you'd call this kind of music. I was never into this kind of Some music. Some of it was kind of heavy, Alma. It, I think was, it was heavy. heavy metal yep. thrash it is what, is what it was called. Everybody to their own, and I've heard it, but 
Yeah. I'm going to be kind of heavy. But so this, don't be shocked what you hear. This is a really um, collectible item right here. This was known mm -hmm. as Anthrax's breakthrough album. This is the album that really gonna put them out there. That. And it actually went gold, too. So that's a fine collectible item well, for those of you. Well, the guys are on the back for who remember those guys. I remember on MTV and different things, they were very popular, very popular. And y'all, again, this is a combo item that we have, two of these together. If you are interested in one of them, just because we have them in a package here That's at $29, right. give us a call and make us an offer on one. Um, this little nine inch nails one, I saw it online, sold anywhere between $20 and $40 right, by we itself. We got them both for $29.95. There but we guys, go. We want you to talk to us, call us. Like I said, you'll actually talk to the boss man. He will deal with you. And you might have something to sell. Give him a holler. That's right. Let's go to our last item, Gray. I can and I'm going to hop on over bit. to Facebook while you're pulling that one up. Let's just see who's watching. Y'all just give us a howdy if you're watching. Let us know you're there. Gray is going to play and sing one for show us. One show a day. One show a day. And uh, so this is a Yamaha acoustic guitar. It is a model FD015. Um, this is kind of just a student guitar, simple guitar. Just if you want to beat around sitting on the porch playing, just kind of a casual guitar. Well, Nothing fancy about budget. it. One twenty nine. Yeah. That is in your budget right there. One twenty nine ninety five. Out on 4062, but beautiful Good guitar. Condition. A scratch or two here or there, but Alma, this is used, but again, not abused. All the strings are there and pretty sound. I can't do it justice, but it does there have a beautiful sound. And you know, we play all these instruments when we get them in. Oh, Put new strings time. on them, tune them up. Freddie and Justin have a good time playing them. So good shot, I'm dude. sure we'll have some video footage later of us sitting around singing and playing and beating on these little things. Well, that's the unique thing about PSC and Alma. We're going to have a show in the show. That's right. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this concludes our sound shopping episode for today. We have another episode of Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray coming up. And then we'll close out the hour with another episode of the Jeweler's Vault. So y'all stay with us. Can't wait. Thank you. Take care.